Chapter 9, Lesson 1, Area Parallelograms. Vocabulary. A closed figure formed by three or more straight lines is a polygon, a quadrilateral with opposite sides that are parallel and opposite sides that are the same length is a parallelogram. A parallelogram with four equal sides is called a rhombus. The area of a parallelogram is the product of its base and its height. So product means to find the area of the parallelogram, we multiply the base times the height. The base of the parallelogram can be any one of its sides and the height is the perpendicular distance from the base to the opposite side. Example one, find the area of the parallelogram. So to find the area of a parallelogram, we have to find the product of its base and its height. So the base could be any side of the parallelogram. So I'm gonna use the bottom, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. So the base has size seven units, and then the height has to be perpendicular from the base to its opposite side, which is this red line here. So let's count the size of the height, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the area of this parallelogram is seven times seven, which equals 49 units, and area is always squared, so it's 49 units squared. Example two, find the area of the parallelogram. So area of a parallelogram is base times height, and we know that base could be any side, so I can use 18 or I can use 13 but I'm going to use 18 as my base because we know the perpendicular distance from this side to this side is 12, but we don't know the perpendicular distance from side 13 to this side. So we're going to use the base 18. So we have 18 times the height is 12. So we have 18 times 12, which gives us 16. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Then we have one times eight is eight, and one times one is one. We get six, 11, and two. So the area of this parallelogram is 216 meters squared. Area is always squared. Pause the video here and try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example three, find the missing dimension of the parallelogram. So in this example, I notice that we're given our area and we're given the base, but the missing dimension is the height. So we wanna solve to find the height. So first let's use our formula, area equals base times height and fill in the given information. So we're given the area, which is 77 inches squared, equal to, we're given the base, which is 11 inches, times we don't know the height. So we're gonna leave that as a variable. Now we can solve using inverse operations to solve for our height. So h is being multiplied by 11, so we could do the inverse and divide both sides by 11. 11 over 11 cancels out, and we're left with h equals 77 divided by 11 gives us seven. So the height is equal to seven inches. We don't square this because now we have a dimension and not the area.
Pause the video here and try this one yourself.